What's up YouTube, TMZ1313 here. Today I just want to do a review on my uh, EP Ever Tracer MPPT charge controller. And uh, just want to tell you the pros and cons. I've, I've had it for a little under a month. So I've had uh, some time to, you know, play around with it and uh, see what I like and what I don't like about it. First of all, I'd like to say that I think it's an awesome charge controller. Um, it's cheap compared to all the other MPPT charge controllers, especially a 40 amp. Um, it comes with a monitor, a uh, basic monitor, all that like uh, Renogy and all those other things. Uh, basically same type of uh, monitor that shows the same thing. Um, let me just go over the specs real quick. I don't have the specs on hand, but I do know some. So it is an MPPT charge controller. It's a 40 amp. You can also get them in 20 and 30 amps. Um, has a pretty big heat sink on the uh, back of it. It does. Uh, it is temperature. It does have a temperature sensor hookup. It doesn't come with one, but there's. Uh, you can get one for like 10 bucks. Um, uh, it can handle 500 watts. Uh, for 12 volt and a thousand watts for uh, 24 volts, so it's either 12 or 24 volts um, And it's a 40 amp so it can handle 40 amps uh, going out So uh, Like I said, I really like it. There's a lot of pros on it. Uh, first of all the cost um, It's very cheap compared to all the other ones. This one was $200 Um they could get easily up to 250 to 300 and once you get into the midnight and outback those are close to five six hundred bucks so you can't beat the price you do pay a little on quality um i'm not saying that it's the best mppt charge controller there is out there because it's definitely not but it definitely works um so the pros is uh like i said cheap it comes with this meter. You don't have to buy it separately. The meter has basically all the parameters that you want. Um, shows you uh, what what kind it is, the date, the time. Tells you what I got today. Today I got half a kilowatt. Um, for the month I got almost seven. And total, I got uh, 8 kilowatts. I haven't had, like I said, I've only had this for a little under a month. And the first three weeks were really cloudy every single day, so I didn't get any power. Um, and right now, my system is on kind of like a standby mode. I'm not really pulling much out of it. So I'm not really putting much into the batteries because I'm not taking much out of it. I can get um, almost to a kilowatt a day, which isn't too bad for two... Uh, two solar panels um, it also tells you the discharge energy uh, I don't really use the um, the discharge or the I'm sorry the outputs from the charge controller I run everything off my batteries so that doesn't really give you much information but if you had it hooked up uh, it could show you all that so this is the charge energy Discharge, okay, where are we going here? So the battery, it's sitting at 12.8. Uh, I'm getting no current in because it's uh, nighttime now, or just getting dark. And the state of charge, 61%, that's definitely wrong. That's one of the cons, I'll talk about that later. Uh, so let's tell me my uh, 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 solar, my, what my solar panels are producing, of course. Like I said, it's just turning uh, nighttime, so I only got 5.4 volts. Um, no current, no nothing. The controller is in at 18.7 Celsius, and my status is normal, which is good. Uh, the load, which I don't have hooked up. Uh, manual control, blah, 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 and then it goes back to there. So um, this is your load. Uh, what you're pulling for the load, this is your battery voltage, and that's your PV voltage and amps. Um, it has a whole bunch of things that you could do. Here, let me situate myself again. 
Um, tells you device info. Just tells you basically, it's a. Uh, it could go at 24 volts, 40 amps in, 40 amps out. Um, don't need to know that. Uh, test operation control parameters. So I got 420 uh, amp hour uh, battery bank. I got flooded batteries. So the temperature uh, coefficient is uh, minus three millivolts uh, slash centigrade slash two volts. So basically it, it adjusts to how cold or warm it is. My rated voltage for my battery system is 12 volts. Um, so my over uh, voltage disconnect is 16 volts, charge limit is 15, that's for my um, equalization. Um, oh wait, my equalization is 14.8, uh, boost charge is in at 14.6, float is at 13.8, uh, boost, I don't know what that means. Uh, low voltage reconnect 12 uh, 6 under voltage under voltage warning uh, So you could change all the stuff. This is all programmable. It doesn't have to be set like this uh, That's just what I have for my system So you could check it set the time of the equalization and stuff like that Um Tells you your load set, that's how you could turn like lights and stuff on and off. Uh, device parameters. Uh, don't need to know. Device password, don't need to know. Charge mode. Um, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Factory reset, and then you got your uh, f failure info. So I need. Uh, any um, warning lights or uh, failures or anything like that comes up here and it saves it. And then your meter parameters, blah, blah, blah. You can change the backlight, alarm, uh, switch pages from so many seconds. So that's basically everything you can access from here, which is basically everything you need. Now there are a few... Um, there are a few disadvantages to this. Um, first of all, this isn't nothing or cons. This isn't really anything big. But uh, this battery thing I never really pay attention to because 12.8 is basically a full charge battery. I like to see them sitting at 12.9, but 12.8 is a full battery and it's saying that it's not full battery. Um, same thing with this. Say state of charge 61%. That's definitely not true because uh, we all know 61% is like a 12.4 or something like that. So it's definitely not right with that. Uh, that's a minor thing. I don't really pay attention to the state of charge uh, that because I already know what 12.8 means. And um, I already know that my battery's topped off just by telling by the voltage. I don't really pay attention to that. So. And the smiley face is kind of dumb to have on there. Uh, another con that I have is that it's very slow tracking. Um, doesn't track as fast as I think it should. So it's kind of slow at times. But other than that, it's an awesome charge controller. Like I said, I would recommend it to anyone that's thinking about getting it. Um, I was going to say something I forgot. Uh, okay, I'm drawing a blank. So, yeah, so if you're interested in it, I would say buy it. It's a really good charge controller. Um, it's worth what it's uh, what you pay for. And um, if I have any problems with that or anything, uh, like, subscribe to my channel, and you will find out shortly if there's ever anything wrong with this because I will be posting a video. So, uh, yeah. All right, talk to you guys later.